Hello everyone and everybody, you're watching Real Russia channel, my name is Sergey Baklikov and this vlog I now record by the numerous requests of the viewers. You guys in some of the videos have seen that I have a turntable and a vinyl collection and you were asking me to show you my vinyls and so that's what I'm going to do now. Well, in this video I am not rushing in the street showing you the real Russia, but just sitting at home and I hope you don't mind such videos from time to time, such vlogs where I'm just showing you my life, a part of my life and that's it. And excuse me for an extra noise that you can uh, hear because many of my neighbors are still making a renovation and fucking grilling the walls but uh, we have to live with this because they are drilling all the days long and I can't wait when they will stop or uh, I can but uh, we will lose the daylight and it's not, not not too good for the video quality okay let's begin actually there was not a second when I was thinking uh, with uh, which vinyl I will start showing you my collection because actually this is the LP of uh, the Beatles released in 1966 Revolver. It's not just my favorite uh, album of the Beatles, but it's just a first vinyl ever I have bought. This is really my favorite album. I think this is a top of the Beatles. Well, actually, the next album in 1967, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, was great too, but you know, I consider it more like a Paul McCartney idea. And Revolver is more like all Beatles creativity. So that's it. Next is uh, double LP, nothing has changed, the very best of David Bowie, actually uh, this one released in 2014 and here is actually the very best of uh, uh, Bowie, like uh, Let's Dance, Ashes to Ashes, Heroes, Change, Space Oddity, Starman and of course Ziggy Stardust, Ziggy play guitar. Well, and uh, I have only two 7-inch uh, vinyls, also known as 45s. This is also Bowie, Fashion and DJ. I am a DJ. I am what I play. I've got believers. Believe in me. But I'm not gonna sing this song again because uh, the video where I was singing the song I got as many dislikes as I don't remember where yet I had it, had so much of dislikes. Um, Queen, greatest hits. Actually, this is uh, the second hand vinyl I've got. It was released in uh, uh, 80s in Bulgaria at Balkanton label. Now this is uh, Depeche Mode, one of my favorite LPs uh, from Depeche Mode, Music for the Masses, actually it uh, released in 1987. Actually uh, many people also was wondering if uh, we are in Russia still listening to the vinyl. Well it's not just we are listening, still listening for the vinyl in Russia, but you know vinyl is still alive everywhere in the world because I'm registered at Discogs, this is uh, the biggest vinyl collectors community and uh, actually vinyl was never gone because actually uh, the best quality that can give you, that you can get, you still can get from a vinyl. Yep, all these new technologies like a CD and especially you know MP3, it's, it's all the crap, you know, vinyl, that's where the best sounds and actually with all this mp3 and uh, even flag we actually have lost the value of music it's you know it's just the files with the different names of the artists and tracks but when you hold a vinyl you really feel like you hold a product the product that you can touch that you can feel that you can you know uh, get out of the sleeve that you can take in your hands carefully place on your turntable then you know place a needle and uh, just uh, listen for this and um, uh, once in uh, 15 20 minutes you need to communicate with your turntable if you uh, want to keep listening and it's great and you really feel like it's more than music and it's really so now this is uh, Madonna 
2001 album Music. You know, in 1998 uh, she released a great album produced by William Orbit, Ray of Light, which is my favorite, but I still have no vinyl. But in 2001, also uh, together with uh, William Orbit, she made uh, another great album, Music. Music, believe me, this is a really great album of Madonna. It's not uh, that crap she's making now. French uh, electronic duo air, but actually here I left only a couple of tracks. And if uh, this was more like a pop music, then and now we came to uh, uh, the main part of my collection, to the biggest part. It's uh, what I call like a pure house and electronic music. And uh, here I'm starting with the Basement Jacks. This is uh, the electronic duo from United Kingdom. And this is their LP released in 19. Uh, 99 on XL recordings Remedy you know when they released Remedy in the world of electronic music it was like a thunder uh, uh, in a clear sky uh, the music the sound they are presented was revolutionary and you know still now I think that this is uh, you know this is just a genius work basement jacks well, uh, this is uh, the single Rendezvous, and here is my favorite, one of my favorite tracks of Basement Jack's Miracles Keep On Playing. This is actually Red Alert Remix, and now actually this vinyl is on my turntable. Now, this is the classic, absolute classic of the house music, uh, the track from Mr. Fingers. Can you feel it? Released on track records. It's a repress, but originally it was released uh, in 1986. This is actually the original Pure House. And in the beginning there was a Jack, and Jack had a groove, and from this groove came the groove of all grooves. I am, you see, I am the creator, and this is my house. That's where the house music was born. Now, Lee Genesis. Actually, mostly I have, you know, vocal house, disco house, deep house, and funky house. Lee Genesis, absolutely great vocal house remix. Ya can't separate me, I'm determined. Here is four uh, tracks, one original and three remixes. Absolutely amazing work. This is a release from Real Groove label. Project MSC featuring the vocals of C.C. Rogers, Superstar. And here is my favorite 10 bars vocal groove mix. Amazing work. Well, this is a super hit of 1999 in the world of electronic music. Flat beat from Mr. Oiz. And this is a flat Eric. Flat Eric? Now, this is uh, the king of disco house music, Joy Negra. Uh, he is uh, very much known as, uh, also known as Raven Maze, as Dave Lee, as Jakarta, and many other names. But when he is, he is making disco house releases, he is Joy Negra. And here is a absolutely great double uh, release. Can't get high without you, original and remixes. Yeah, that's great. Released at Subliminal label. This is the label of Eric Marilla, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, released in uh, you know uh, in the end of in the end of 90s. Actually, mostly here is the music from 1996 to 2003, something like that. This is my favorite period of house music when it was already not as naive as in the end of 80s, in the beginning of 90s, and uh, uh, just a pure house, uh, but without, you know, playing the games with a mass audience, with a, without uh, two pop sounds. That's it. And this is the release which is already have been made, pressed, on a label of Joy Nigra Z Z Records. This is amazing French house from Le Claudette's Alexandre Alexandra limited edition double pack. Nice French house. And this is another pure house from Eddie Amador uh, Rise, including my favorite New York preacher mix. 
this is the work of 1996 disco text and my favorite track here keep holding back just a pure uh, disco house another super hit of the end of 90s stardust music sounds better with you released on roll records well uh no less great vinyl junior jack my feeling uh including my favorite kick and deep remix this is you know one of the most noticing tracks in 1999 now this is a release from rise rise label triple x feel the same but i don't really love uh, original to pop but i love dj sneak dub mix this is you know just blowing up my mind uh, it has such a great groove with a loop this is uh, in my opinion one of the best funky house tracks ever released at fire combo label dj gregory don't know malendra don't know malendra Timo Mas, well, uh, this vinyl I've got not long ago, it's uh, actually not a new work, it's uh, the one which released in 2002, but I've got it only now and it's still packed in absolutely mint quality. Timo Mas featuring MC Chickaboo Shifter. Nice work. Now uh, it's going to be two releases from Azuli, legendary Azuli Records. It's Bini Martini, the guys from Italy. Uh, happiness, my vision is clear, that's the release. And this one is including amazing remixes of uh, David Morales. Another work from Azuli and from Bini Martini, Say Yes. Also, I've got it not a long ago. I see the vinyl is not new because we can see the stickers. Uh, probably some of the DJs had it because I, I, I see, you know, uh, some marks uh, like how many beats before the intro will uh, over, uh, how many uh, beats per minute, what's the speed of the track. So, but I have not opened it yet. Now, this is Defected, Defected Records, one of the uh, best house music labels, and this is the release from Choo Choo Project, Hazing and Phasing. Well, uh, another great release, uh, it's amazing, you know, uh, vocal house uh, with a great groovy beat and bass, Shane and Boo featuring C. Simmons, Saturday Love. Blaze, Blaze, Funky People. It was really great rallies in the end of 90s. Funky People. Uh, this is a really huge figure in a house music, Armand Van Helden. And uh, on this a vinyl, on this uh, double, uh, double pack, the most known track is You Don't Know Me. You Don't Know Me. DJ Tonka and uh, the hit Security. I hate security standing in the club. It was a huge work. Well, pretty minimalistic sleeve, just, just you know, just a white sleeve, but this is a work from Antonelli Electric from Italy, and here his rallies automatic music. Now this is Express 2 featuring the vocals of David Byrne, Lazy, and here is my favorite remix, uh, Norman Cook remix. Sounds good, you know? Yep. Released in 2002. Uh, by the way, Norman Cook is uh, also more known as Fatboy Slim. DZ, I have a feeling, the release uh, from Airtight label. Very good track. Now, here is uh, some vinyl uh, which is made in a style of trance. I don't really love the trance, at least I never play this, but uh, some works I love. It's chicken, salt water. This is uh, actually the work together with uh, Brian Adams or so. Well, good work, chicken, salt water. Paul Van Dyke, actually a king of uh, trance music, another way, avenue. Miss Jane, it's a fine day. Miss Jane, it's a fun day. And uh, Paul Van Dyke, it's actually LP, seven ways, seven ways. And uh, let's finish with uh, 
release from Melody, Melodia, the Soviet record label and uh, the Soviet electronic band, uh, which is kind of good one, Zodiac. In their time, back in uh, 80s, they were making a really good tracks, Zodiac. Well, actually, there I have uh, some more, you know, vinyls, some more vinyls, but I don't really love them. Uh, and uh, actually makes no sense to present them to you because I guess even for a DJs probably uh, these names will will say nothing will say nothing well really I love listening to the vinyl because I love the sounds I love uh, feeling that uh, I have something physical I have uh, not just the music but something uh, on something physical it's a really great feeling. I really love to communicate uh, with uh, the turntable and I even love how it's spinning. I love this process. I love to see this and uh, you know I even love uh, some uh, some noise, some noise in the beginning of the tracks uh, when we don't hear the beat we can see because of this uh, some noise and it's really great. It's just you know something um, magical it's it's just really magic still now uh there nothing better in a sound quality than a vinyl sometimes i buy vinyl uh pop if talk about pop music like a beatles like a um david bowie i buy just an ufa and in the stores here uh, but what about the house tracks uh, i buy them on discogs you can find me on discogs and uh, by the way there you can more carefully to uh, review my releases i have my collection there and all the vinyls is there in my catalog uh, so check it out well i um, order uh, tracks from from there and I get them delivered from mostly Europe for only 10 12 days they are coming in such a, you know quadra packages and uh, for now for now no one vinyl was lost or was broken and that's very good you know the girls in a post office already knows me and uh, they are saying that it's always uh, pretty easy to find your parcel around to other parcels in their uh, post warehouse because it's always such a quadras yeah and uh, what about the price actually uh, these finals mostly i buy for uh, one two euro and uh, the delivery is about one euro to me but of course in case if you uh, order uh, many vinyls in the same time then the delivery is really expensive uh, cheap really cheap for you and actually after all including shipping uh, uh, in average I buy each uh, vinyl for only three maybe four euro and that's it and I think that it's uh, very good because uh, now if you will go to uh, iTunes or Beatport, the tracks they are just an electronic tracks you know cost almost the same money so why buy just uh, you know mp3 or even above uh, if you can buy just a real records it's it's great you know uh, that's why I love it and um, welcome to my disc ox Sergey Baklakov. I'm there, Sergey Baklakov at Discogs. And uh, you know, if you also have a vinyl, let's communicate, let's exchange the experience. Well, uh, that's where I'm going to finish my story about my vinyl collection. I hope you loved it and uh, never forget to comment, like, and subscribe. My name is Sergey Baklakov. See you.